Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though uh, to make my first gameplay on Battlefield 1. I just got this uh, beta version, and I'm sorry about the audio quality, it's not that good because, uh, you know, I'm not at home, I'm traveling, I'm in the US, in Charlotte, North Carolina, USA, so I don't have my microphone that I used to. Uh, that I usually do my videos, so it's a totally different story. But I'm just here, I, I got a time, and I'm playing Battle for One. I want to give my impressions from what I've seen so far. I played a couple matches, this one that you guys are watching, I did a pretty, a pretty good job, and I'm playing with a uh, medic class, and I'm using uh, my friend's account, Marquee85, so it's not my account. But, anyways, well, I, 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 I love it, the game. Uh, but it sometimes is really hard to aim. Right now I struggle a little bit, and actually I was I was with a problem with the sensitivity. It's uh, it's different from from Rainbow Six Siege, for example, especially because this game is much faster, and it does uh, it does have uh, aim assist, which is pretty good. Because this game is super fast, and if you have to aim all the time and follow the enemies, they're always jumping, crouching, and this drop, this uh, drop shot is kind of crazy here. So it's hard to follow. On PC, it, you don't have the aim assist, but on consoles, you have. I'm playing on PlayStation 4, by the way. So yeah, I think the the aim assist uh, helps a lot. So you can realize that most of times, you know, I aim. And I, and I release the button, and I am outside again, and I shoot, you know, to have a, a better precision. Because if you don't have this aim assist, it's pretty much, it's really hard to kill enemies. So far I'm 7-3, I died like three times, and I got a, I start to record this video, and I already have died, I guess. Uh, so, so, I mean, this three times, I haven't died yet. So, you, you can see now. <coughs> now I died. <laughs> my bad, my uh, got an allergy since I got here in the US. So yeah, uh, you realize that uh, there was the guy who was in front of me and it was kind of hard to aim all the time in him because uh, initially because my sensitivity was not that good, it was low, so I just adjusted a little bit and well, if you have the aim assist you can basically, as I said, all the time you aim, you release, and you aim downside again, so it's much better to hit enemies. And this map here, uh, Sinai Desert, is a really nice map. Uh, there's a lot of buildings. You have like a central village, this is the central area, and it's really nice. And you also have these open areas. Uh, towards the flag A and flag G and F, and uh, where you can go with some vehicles, and it's you know I just uh, threw like two smoke grenades, and it's really really good to give you some cover because this map is is huge, and there's a lot of snipers everywhere. So when you have the smoke grenade, it allows you to, it allows you uh, to walk safely. So I love it, and I think. They balance really well the amount of vehicles because <coughs> uh, because on the Battlefield 4 there was so many vehicles, helicopters, planes, and it was so hard to deal with them. Now you can see some vehicles, but it's not that crazy, so you can run away from them. And if you have uh, uh, the support class, you can even fight the tanks and try to destroy them. So it's really nice. So you gotta be careful here when you walk. You gotta watch all the corners because there are a lot of snipers in the map. And see, I'm just looking for enemies, and as soon as I see them, I walk to kill them. I kill one. There's two guys here. Yeah, I kill the guy thanks to the aim assist because it's hard to aim. So there's a vehicle, but I decide to. To stay close by the vehicle, so he just killed me. So far, I'm 10 4. 10 4, Roger that. But the game is uh, looks amazing. Of course, the graphics in PlayStation 4 it's not that great as on, on PC. On PC, it's just gorgeous, it's perfect, it's amazing. I love it. 
but here on consoles, it's just okay. It's not too shabby, but it could be better. But I can't complain, man. I, I, I've had a lot of fun playing this game. I was playing just by myself, but I'm quite sure if I got a really good squad to play with, you know, we have everyone to just following me or follow like a, a team go towards the objective. Play objectively, it's gonna be even more fun. So I got like two kills with this vehicle. It's also amazing when you play with a tank. Uh, I tried the airplane just a little bit, and I really didn't like it. It's so hard to play with the airplane, but with the vehicle, is it's cool. I was not driving. I was just helping on the camel. And that's where you're gonna get more kills. We have taken objective Duff. So I just got D. Uh, and now I'm gonna gonna ride somewhere else. Actually, if the driver goes, because I can't do much. See, so far uh, on this gameplay here, we have uh, faced just one vehicle, right? That one that killed me. And I'm driving for the first time, I'm not driving, I'm inside the vehicle for the first time, and I haven't seen any other uh, friendly vehicle. So it's well balanced. You won't see many, many vehicles in the game, and uh, it's much. Uh, now we're gonna see some. That, that's not a vehicle, the enemy is just a, like a light armor. Uh, it's probably for transportation as well, likely. I'm going towards A. Okay, where are they? I can see an enemy here. <laughs> it's so cool, man, to use this. <laughs> The sound is, is, is amazing. The sound is just you like you feel like in the in the World War One. It's strong sound. So we got one flag and now we're just getting a and this is the very very important here because the Battlefield One gives you like five hundred points when you conquest the flag. It's really, really nice. I, I don't know, I think in the Battlefield 4 it would give you like 300 points or less. Got another kill. Don't mess with me. Whoa, I got a lot of points. A lot of points. We're killing everybody, man. We're doing such a great job. Where is he? Uh, I can see some enemies. But I don't think I have an angle. Yeah. I'm not able to aim there. Okay, here we go. I don't know why they're shooting me. Okay, now it's gonna be... It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a... a vehicle battle. Tank battle. Oh, crap. Oh no, oh no, I have no angle. Move, move, move. Oh, just seven of damage? Move, bro, move, move. Oh, I got it. Two? Two of damage? That's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Did I miss that? We have lost objective. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, got him. Got him. Nice. Oh, I'm in the second one, on the scoreboard. I missed this one. Man, it's so much fun when you play as a, in a tank. 68 of damage. How did he survive? Okay, I got a kiss. Well, I feel like sometimes when you when you play on this vehicles, it's, it can be too OP, because it's so hard to counter attack, unless you have a, a team talking in a very coordinated attack to destroy the tanks if you're just by your own you have no chance to destroy a tank so yeah if you're not playing with a team with some teammates to help you to destroy for example tanks 
if you can have a really tough time facing these guys. But when you play in a tank in the enemy team, it's also not very well coordinated. You can last a long time driving this thing here. Oh, so I don't think. Oh, this yeah, the driver was gone. So it, now it's my time. I'm driving now. Well, the best thing when you drive this 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 vehicle here, you have like a uh, this uh, five mi uh, 50 millimeter. I don't know which one is this. It's a really strong gun, but it's a machine gun. But you don't have the cannon anymore unless you change your seat. So I changed my seat for number two, now it's number three, uh, number five, number two again. Okay, I'm back to the driver's seat. So, but I don't have cannon. Just this is machine gun. Okay, here we go. We have lost objective charge. Alright, here we go. Oh, <laughs> well, I destroyed everything. Right, when you're in a, on vehicles, you don't have the aim assist, so now it's all about me. So you see the difference? It's way harder. By the way, I just, uh, as soon as I got here in the US, I bought a scuff controller, which is really nice. I have like extra paddles uh, where I can jump and crouch without need to take my thumb from the right stick. By the way, as soon as I get back in Brazil and I, I get my camera, I'll make a video talking about the scuff controller it worth the buy or not and so far um, I'm liking it yeah yeah I got promoted nice come on come on come closer try to face me and you're gonna you're gonna see what's gonna happen come on come on come on no you won't escape now when you start to listen to this music, oh I'm in the first one, I'm leading. Yeah, when you listen to this music, you know the the match is about to to get over. So the, I, I love the guns. The, the guns in this game they're very well balanced. I think a lot of YouTubers are talking about it. So you have like uh like a medic, it's really good for medium, uh, short range. This one it's even for long range, but for long range Long range, you would rather have a sniper rifle, and if you're playing at close range, you better go with uh, uh, a submachine gun, like a light submachine gun. It works much better. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and catch you later. Bye, amigos.